I am Alexandra Billings and I play Waxy Bush in The Nap. Ever since I can remember, I've been around musical theater and queer people. LGBT people were not the people that scared me. It was the heteronormative people that frightened me. I didn't understand them because they didn't burst out into show tunes every five minutes. So it didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, why are you not singing your pain? I knew that I wasn't a gay man because I knew I wasn't male, but I didn't have the vocabulary. So the only thing I knew was that I was crazy. So I dressed up in private and I hid my true self behind closed doors. And I really felt that I was just too much trouble for my family. So suicide for me was the best option for everyone. So I tried to do that a couple of times. One day, I was about 16 years old and I was sitting at the edge of my bed with a handful of pills. And Phil Donahue had on these three guests and they were beautiful. They were funny and smart and filled with joy. I found out that they were actually three transgender performers. I saw myself and I said out loud, Oh, there I am. In 1990 something, early 90s, late 80s, I was diagnosed with AIDS and I was in the doctor's office with my wife and he came in and he said, well, you have it. And he said, and I suggest what you do is max out your credit cards because you probably won't be around to pay the bill. And he was right at that time. But I kept living and I kept surviving and I kept moving forward. And then these miraculous drugs happened. So at that time, miracles for me were about getting up in the morning and seeing friends get better and getting through the day without drugs or alcohol. These were the miracles in my life. Broadway didn't exist for me. So the fact of it is more than a miracle. It's extraordinary. I am so grateful and humbled to be in this New York family, there are very few words I have left.